Let's just talk about safety and what could or couldn't have been done before this horrendous thing happened. Now, you were on the Housing Scrutiny Committee of um, Kensington and Chelsea. You were a long-term uh, councillor there before you became an MP. Did anyone ever raise with you the issue of sprinkler safety? Um, I've never heard that being discussed in relation. I mean, that there is a, that there was a claim that it was it was offered to the residents of Grenfell Tower and that they'd refused it. And I've spoken to the residents of Grenfell Tower and they said it was never refused. The issue about Grenfell Tower, when I was on the board of the TMO, which I left in 2012, um, was that it was in a very bad condition, that they, the heating and hot water was constantly failing, people were concerned about the electric cabling and it needed and the windows were leaking and it needed a refit. So the certain to a certain extent, the re refurbishment was welcomed. To okay. certain, but but you know how how that was done was decided after me. And let me just explain. You know the committee system on the council. It's a scrutiny system. We don't make the decisions. The decision making is not with. And as a as a minority party councillor, you can ask all the questions you like. If there is a vote, which there is very rarely, it, it isn't in our hands. Of course. It's the cabinet member who signs it off. He has to be completely content that. The and, and you're not actually in charge of implementing correct. the policies. I understand.